What's up guys, Bob Busker here at Think Computers and today we're going over the AI Suite 3 that comes with Asus's Z87 Sabertooth motherboard. So this is the companion software that's gonna come with the motherboard and unlike most companion software, this is actually extremely useful and has a lot of things that you're actually really gonna use. So the first thing is our main screen and we have all of our different things that we can go into. But down here, we have all of our temperatures and our uh, fan speeds and all of that stuff. So that's just right there for you to see. And you can actually change it so, you know, it will look like that. And you can change, you know, see everything in a different way uh, if you like, or you can just keep it like that. But the first thing we're gonna go into is our thermal radar too. So we click on that. And let's go back to the main page here because we were already inside here. Uh, let's go thermal tuning. Okay, here we go. So the main page here, it's going to give you an overview of your motherboard and it's actually going to show you where all of your temperature sensors are. So you have them all right here. And if you hover over, you can of course see the temperatures. There's also three down here, these three right here. These we don't have connected, but Asus does provide the leads for these. So you can um, connect a lead to this and say connect it to a hard drive or connect it to something inside of your case so you can monitor that temperature as well. There's also this thermal tuning here, which we haven't run, but what it's gonna do, it's basically going to run sort of like a benchmark and give you the best thermal performance possible. So, you know, if you wanna really optimize the fans inside your case, you can go ahead and do that. Thermal status, it's kind of like a kind of like a status, whether it's excellent, good, normal, or could be improved here for your CPU, CPU and VGA. And you can see they're outlined right here as well. Um, and CPU thermal assessment, you can see that we haven't run the assessment yet, but you can also do that as well. So there's a lot of things with this, um, you know, the thermal radar that really can improve the airflow within your case. It's gonna tell you if it's good, if it's bad. Of course, you know, if you're running a system that you're gonna be running all of the time, this is something that you're definitely gonna to wanna to run just to see how well your airflow is and how it can be improved. Fan control here. Um, it's gonna show you all of your different fans. It's gonna show you what mode you have. So you can do silent, standard, turbo, and full speed. You can also load and save profiles. There's fan overtime. Um, so what that does is it's going to allow you to run your fans after the CPU or after the you know your system shuts down. You can set the timer here. It's set for one minute, but you can um, you know set it for all the way up to ten minutes after. So you know it, this just helps cool down your system if you're overclocking or something like that, and you know you don't want those fans to turn off right away. You can also go into each one of these right here, and you can set the thermal properties of how the fan adjusts depending on temperature or RPM or however you want to do it, you can go ahead and do that. And of course you can click through to go to all of your fans. And then finally we have the Digi Plus power control. So this is your digital power controls for the CPU and DRAM. So we can go into each one and you can select, select the load line calibration, the CPU current capability, CPU th power thermal control, you can set up the CPU voltage frequency, CPU power phase control, and the active frequency mode, you can turn it on or off. And then the CPU power duty control, you can set it to T-probe or extreme. If we go over to our memory here, we can set up the DRAM current capability, the DRAM voltage frequency, and the DRAM power phase control, of course, optimized or extreme. So that's pretty much it for the thermal radar. So we'll go out of there, and we'll go into USB 3.0 boost. And what this does is it's going to actually allow you to sort of like overclock the speed of your USB 3.0 devices. So depending on the device and what the device supports, you can do a turbo mode and there's actually an even faster mode after that. So it's basically gonna speed up your USB 3.0 devices. So this is great if you're say, playing a movie or playing HD content from a USB 3.0 device, you want the fastest speed spot fastest speed possible, especially if you're transferring files as well. So you can do that um, with this application. We go to easy update. Of course, this is just to easily update your BIOS here. So not everybody you know, wants to uh, go you know, download a BIOS, then don't go into the, um, actually go into the BIOS to update. This will do it all for you. You can you know, click this button to check now right in the internet to see if there is a BIOS update. We have uh, network eye control, which is pretty much the network control for the uh, NIC card that's in here. So you can set up profiles 
um, you know you can set it to auto you can kind of do uh, you know it will show you a lot more information if you actually have it set up which we don't um, the system information so this is going to show you all of your information so starting here with the motherboard you know all of the information that you will need to know for whatever reason um, and then our CPU here all of that and of course our SPD information for our memory so we'll get out of that and USB BIOS flashback so what this will allow you to do is um, again you can check for a new BIOS but you can actually schedule downloads for a new BIOS so say you have a flash drive always connected to your computer you can set it up um, to schedule every 30 days or you know however many days to download a new BIOS and then it will automatically update your BIOS for you it's just good you know because BIOS is they, they get updated so often they fix a lot of things so it's always good to have a new BIOS on your system and then we have our USB charger so this is for if you have an Android device an iPhone iPad something like that where it will actually um, you know will actually charge these devices faster and on top of that you can actually set it so if your system's sleeping or hi hibernating or even in shutdown mode that it will actually still charge those devices so that's just good you know nobody wants to wake up the next morning and have their phone on 20 percent you want to have it on 100 percent so that's just another feature here and i believe oh uh, we do have remote go as well so remote go um, will allow you to do a couple things so you have cloud storage that you can set up you can set up a remote desktop you can set up a D DLNA media hub and you can also set up file transfers and this is not just between computer but you can set it up between your mobile devices so that's basically it here for the AI Suite 3 that comes with Asus's Z87 Sabertooth motherboard it is a complete package here and like I said there's a lot of things in this that people are actually going to use not just you know stupid things that are in here that nobody's going to use I can see myself using USB 3.0 boost of course easy update and USB fly BIOS flashback as well as a USB charger and remote go for streaming and doing remote desktop so if you have any questions about AI suite 3 or Asus's Z87 Sabertooth motherboard go ahead and leave them in the comments below and remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.